I'm on a quest. I'm on a side quest to build something. And I'm going to talk about that in this video. I'm starting a new project, which is always exciting. And I'm going to build in public. I haven't built in public for a little while. And I always like building in public. That's why you haven't seen a video here in a while. But I've made a lot of building public videos in the past. And so in this video, I'm going to talk about this new project that I'm starting on. Uh, it is a side quest. Why I say that is because I do have another main business, Poolfish. That's my main business that I put most of my focus on. But sometimes something comes along. There's just like this idea that you just can't get out of your head that you're like, I need to build this thing. This would be really cool. And, you know, the freedom of being a bootstrapper is that you can just do that. You can just be like, all right, I'm going to build that thing. Uh, maybe it only takes me a week or two. But it's this little side quest that I think is worth taking because I think it will be fun to build really that's really the only reason and i think it has potential like maybe it 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 grows maybe it turns into something that actually becomes like a business kind of thing and i keep doing it um so yeah in this video i'm going to talk about farcaster um for the first part so if you already know about farcaster you can skip i don't know two or three minutes in when i talk about farcaster and then i'm going to talk about what this new project is and why i'm making it why i think it's cool um right now i'm calling it frame swap so i'll talk more about frame swap and kind of my plan is to kind of build in public on farcaster kind of sharing the process of building frame swap and i'll do that through videos like this so i'll be sharing these you know kind of creating these like small short videos on youtube uh, and posting them on farcaster and so if you want to like know more go follow me on farcaster in brag um so let's get into it so farcaster is kind of like twitter um but it is a protocol that allows other social apps to be built on top of it. Um, and so why I say it's like Twitter is because it has kind of a social feed similar to Twitter. You can follow people, you, you know, it's mostly text-based, there is images and stuff like that. <clears throat> but what makes Farcaster different is that it's about being the base layer that allows other apps and things to build on top of it. Imagine like back when Twitter had like an open API that you could get all the data, you could post to Twitter and you could just kind of be a part of Twitter as an app. And like nowadays, especially, you know, if Twitter changing their APIs and stuff, it's very dangerous to build on top of Twitter, like for other developers. Um, there's, there's a lot of risks. There's risks of, Twitter just, you know, making the API costs insane, which is, you know, something they did in this last year, um, or them just like cutting off your access. You don't really own anything, you know, a as a builder on top of Twitter. Also, same for your creators, the people that have the Twitter accounts. You don't really own your account, all of your following, you don't really own it. Twitter owns that. So Farcaster is kind of trying to change the game in making a protocol where the ownership goes back to the creators. Um, it, it's trying to make a protocol that other developers can build on top of without having to worry about the rug being pulled from underneath of them. And kind of how they've done that is kind of made a somewhat decentralized um, protocol where it's not like completely, completely decentralized, like it's not like a, a full out blockchain, but it's decentralized enough um, they've got these things called hubs that are running. There's like a hundred or so running that anyone can run. Um, and so the data is all there. It's all open and permissionless. Anyone can kind of build on top of it. And so that's how they kind of do that. I think a way to kind of explain it is Farcaster is trying to be like the email protocol. Um, and so, you know, anyone can build an email client and kind of build on top of the email protocol. And that's kind of how our internet works. And then you have these different clients like Gmail come on top and actually make the client and the user experience. And so Farcaster can have multiple clients and the main client right now is called Warpcast and probably, you know, 95% of users are all using Warpcast. And so it's not completely like a decentralized thing yet, but it's possible for, you know, other bigger, um, client creators to come and create a client on top of Farcaster. Um, so yeah, this is kind of how Farcaster works. Um, why I think it's exciting is it just allows for others to build on top of it in a way that's permissionless, in a way where you don't have to worry as much about them pulling the rug from under you. And that's why I've gotten excited about maybe building something on top of Farcaster in the Farcaster space. Now, another thing they did uh, almost a month ago now is they added something called frames. And what a frame is, is kind of like this simple mini app that can be 
that basically anyone can post in their feed. So imagine you have like a tweet in Farcaster, they call it a cast. And you cast out a frame, it's just like you're casting a um, an app that people can interact with. And the cool thing about it is it, cont- it has the state. So the frame, um, anyone that interacts it, with it, the app could be different based on who's interacting with it. Because the frame knows who you are. Um, and so that's another thing that's really cool is that they've just kind of launched this frame concept. And so it allows for you to kind of build an app that is just right where people are already at, like people are already there in Farcaster in their feed. And um, I think it's a great way to maybe bootstrap something and build something on top of their platform. And so that's what I, you know, got me excited about this, like thinking about different ideas that I could build on top of Farcaster. So something that I think is really cool about Farcaster and got me just really excited about wanting to build something here is Farcaster kind of connects the like your social identity to your on-chain identity so up to this point you know the blockchain is very public like you could go find a wallet you could see what things they've purchased kind of what apps and dApps they've been using but you don't really know who that person is and it's really kind of difficult to necessarily like point out an identity of who that real person is where what farcaster does is it actually connects you connect your wallet to your Farcaster account. And so on Farcaster, you're kind of creating this like social identity. Like you're a person on there that's posting, you're making comments, you're replying, like you're a real person. But then you also have connected to your wallet that's doing on-chain activities. You're doing transactions, you're doing financial things. And so I think there's a really cool overlap there where you can overlap a social identity, a person with financial things. So I think that makes for some really cool kind of things that you could build on top of that. And so that's where I kind of got excited about this idea of frame swap, where right within your feed, you could swap for a token, you could make a trade and it's it's just right where you are. Um, Now there are some problems I think with this where frames, you know, someone posts a frame and then it kind of like, it goes away. Like it's it's in your feed, you scroll past it. And so one of the things I'm gonna have to figure out is how to make the frame something that you can kind of come back to if you want to use Um, kind of my first idea for this is farcaster also has something called channels Um, and so maybe i could like pin this frame to the top of the channel so you can always go to the channel and it's just right at the top there so that's one thing but i think there's something cool i could do and this is what i really want to explore with frame swap is how could I make it also kind of like a social thing, like a social interaction where you're interacting with other real users as you're doing swaps and then kind of bring that social part into into swapping. Um, And I think that's really only something that's kind of possible on Farcaster. You can't really do this in crypto in other places. And so that's what I kind of want to explore with FrameSwap. Um, The other thing that I think is exciting about this is just like the potential of just getting users more easily like that like i think in business and creating things always the hardest part is distribution it's just like getting your first users things like that when you build on top of farcaster it's like your distribution is kind of built in already right there it's just you know people you know you post you make a cast and there's a lot of people there that that see it so on farcaster right now i think there's over 200,000 accounts and not all of those are active. I think right now they have around 50,000 like weekly active users or something like that. And Farcaster actually just really blew up in the last couple of weeks again um, because of this whole frames idea that got a lot of people excited. There's another thing with DGen that I think made it grow a lot. Um, so Farcaster is kind of having a moment right now and that's why I kind of came back to it. You know, I was, I was on it over a year ago. Um, but I really got excited about it again as a lot more people were coming over to it and I started to see, you know, with frames and some of the things that they're doing that like, I think this could really be a big part of social in crypto in the future. So that got me really excited. And um, yeah, that's kind of why I have this idea to, to build this frame swap thing. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long, but I will be updating you here on the progress of it. And if you don't completely understand the idea or what it is, um, you know, especially if you're not in crypto, I'm guessing you're very confused about what the swapping thing is. Um, but uh, hopefully in the next couple of videos, it will start to make sense even what this is. Um, so hopefully this is interesting to you and I'll see you in another video.